Hey Pisces, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. So we're going to get started with a mediumship training deck card. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? And we have Clairsentience. And I'm trying to think who else got this card. I feel like somebody else got this card. So this could be a spiritual gift that you are starting to connect with, or it could be one that you're already fully aware of. It's also possible that a clairsentient person is assisting you at this time, but let's look at what it says. Clairsentience is the most natural of all the psychic sentences senses. It is the ability to sense the emotions or feelings of other people, animals, and your surroundings, as well as spirit people. Don't underestimate the power of clairsentience. It can assist you in all areas of your life and enhance your connection with spirit. Our bodies act as one big psychic antenna. When meeting someone for the first time, most of us have a gut response or when walking into a room, it's possible to feel vibrations. When a medium is working and using their ability of clairsentience, they're able to feel or sense the spirit's energy, whether it's male, female, young or old, and the nature of the illness that might have taken the spirit to the other side. The medium should be able to describe the spirit, spirit's personality and their mannerisms, and in some cases take on the characteristics of the spirit. This is the most common way most mediums work, and there are no limits to what the, what the spirit can make the medium sense. Clairsentience is felt through the solar plexus center. You can strengthen this ability by practicing daily. Focus on your solar plexus center and ask yourself what you're feeling. Be sure to do this when meeting someone new or making an important decision. When you start asking how you're feeling, tuning into your solar plexus and paying attention, this psychic ability will strengthen and grow. So I feel like there may have been things that you have been sensing and feeling, and I feel like um, it, that feeling is going to become stronger and stronger. So let's get a messages from heaven and see what, what else comes through for you. What else do we have for Pisces? Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. So I feel like this is also, um, there may be something that you've been praying about, that you've been meditating on. You know, this looks like a meditation pose. And I feel like you are getting some um, feelings and vibrations. And I feel like um, the answers are going to come this way. Okay, whether this is through someone else or through your own connection. All right, let's get a Talking to Heaven card. What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces? So Pisces is one of the most intuitive, if not the most intuitive signs. So I feel like this is really synchronistic and I feel like there's something that you've been getting nudges about that you know some kind of feeling that you've been having and it, it i think it's going to be different for all of you and how it applies to your own life and your own situations but i definitely feel like there's something that you can't ignore and this is number 21 so that may have some significance to you Okay, and we have, there is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So this could even feel like a clock ticking for you. So I feel like this is just a reassurance. And I feel like, um, I feel like there is someone speaking to you. Either a rose represents them. We have this rose here. Or this is like someone that, um, was quite young when they passed so i feel like um you know they're they're saying like kind of like i'm not aging so don't worry about it or something like that and i feel like um i feel like almost like you've even expressed or someone closest to you has expressed like um like that they went before their time 
and they're kind of giving you this answer now that, you know, there is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So I definitely feel like someone is trying to connect with you and it could be just to help you heal or it could just be to, um, to guide you, to help you with whatever situation, you know, it's saying that we're, as we're trying to guide you. So I do feel like there's, there's a guidance here, but it could also be to help you heal from, from the grief, um, of a passed on loved one. All right, let's see what else comes out for Pisces. What else do we have for Pisces? And we have the Four of Cups, arrogant wastefulness or regretful comparison. I do feel like there is um, energy that Spirit is giving you that God is trying to offer you and you've been more focused on what you've lost than what you could possibly gain right now. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so what else do we have for Pisces? This could also be just a general, um, like, you know, feeling stagnant and not feeling, I'm getting that some of you sometimes say, I just don't wanna do this anymore. And this could be in a relationship, this could be with a job, this could just be with life. And I feel like Spirit is really trying to nudge you to see something as beautiful and as an opportunity here. What else do we have? Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups, lovingly complete. So I feel like there is something, it's like that that you can really be grateful for and feel um, blessed. It's like recognizing where you're blessed and focusing on those things. You know, it's like, where are you grateful? Um, what do you have in your life that you're grateful for? Because if you focus on those things, rather than focusing on the things that you have lost of the past that you may be trying to gain back, then you're going to, um, you're going to raise your vibration and have more of a zest for life. What is the challenge here? And we have the page of wands, rapid fire planning or procrastinating action. So I do feel like there are things that you know you need to get done. You may be procrastinating. That's definitely um, something that um, Pisces can be known for. And then suddenly gets the energy and just does what has to be done. Um, I feel like there is opportunity here that... Um, you're not seeing the kind of the benefits of it. So it's not something that you're really focusing on. What's the advice from spirit here? And we have the tower painful transition or, um, a needed transition. I feel like there is, um, you know, there's going to be divine intervention. It's kind of like you're being given this opportunity here. But um, if you can't, it's almost like they're warning you that the divine will come in and you may not like the way that they choose to shake up your life and break up whatever it is that needs to be um, kind of taken out of the platform and foundation of your life. So I feel like, you know, you're being given the opportunity to really look at these things yourself and be able to, um, to make the adjustments and build what you need to build in order to make your life more stable. What is the outcome here? And we have the Eight of Swords, self-doubt. And um, so I feel like this is you know, that kind of, um, not trusting in yourself, not, not listening to your intuition, kind of trying to, um, manage everything with your mind rather than with your heart and intuition. So I feel like this is you needing to really connect with how you emotionally feel about something. I feel like, um, because otherwise you're not going to see the way that changes can be made in your life. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. So I definitely see that um, that this is about 
manifestation. This is about the things that you are focusing on is what you're creating. And so if you're focusing on things that are low vibrational or not um, in your highest good, then you're creating more and more of that. So I feel like this is a um, time to really change your focus, your major focus here. All right, so let's clarify. Show me why we have this Four of Cups for Pisces. What's this Four of Cups about? And we have the Ten of Swords, deep anguish. So you definitely could be going through a state of depression. And I don't feel like this is what most people call depression. It's like, I feel like it's not um, just uh, over emotional or over sensitivity. It's literally no emotion. Okay, no anger, no fear, no sadness, just nothingness. That is deep anguish. It's pain that has just been so overwhelming that it shuts you off. Wow. So show me this 10 of cups. And we have the magician again. So I definitely feel like the magic is found in in being grateful for what you already have, your family that's around you, the love that you it's somewhere inside of you. I feel like you just have to find it again. It's there. It's just being suppressed by this depression or this anguish that needs to be healed. But you can't just make it go away. You have to acknowledge it and accept it as part of what you've been through and start pulling yourself out of it. It's easier said than done, but you're being guided. So I feel like prayer and meditation is so crucial for you right now. So why is this page of wands here? And we have the king of swords ethics over emotions well i feel like this is this could have been triggered by the loss of a job or some type of decision that was made and i feel like you may be going through regret and and it's easier to just not feel at all your body will just shut things off sometimes but i feel like even though it will be painful the need is to actually feel it so that you can um, go through it and then move on from it. When everything is shut off, it's like the conveyor belt just stops. So then nothing happens, right? Show me this tower. Why do we have this tower here as the advice from spirit? And we have the queen of cups, intuitive compassion. I definitely get that with this inner voice, um, using your intuition. This is about mastering your emotions and not allowing yourself to drown in emotions because it looks like she's floating in water or sinking. <laughs> so I feel like that's your choice here. Okay. So show me this eight of swords in the outcome. And we have the two of cups, perfect partnership. So I feel like, um, this could have been triggered by, you know, either a, I'm feeling like either the loss of a job or the loss of a relationship. Um, but it doesn't have to be, it could be the loss of a loved one. I, maybe you're not even aware of what has brought you to this level, but it's definitely, um, <clears throat> It's definitely brought you there. So this is specific. If this isn't your reading, you know, don't take it on because this is huge. This is a big deal. Um, this is a really um, finding yourself at the bottom of the ocean is what I'm feeling like here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of coins. So I feel like I feel like this um, this idea that you thought your life would be has not come out that way and it has so much to do with the way that you approach things we have the magician twice here so it's definitely been um what you've been focused on it's like you're true you're a true manifester but the problem is is that <clears throat> excuse me you haven't made yourself <clears throat> aware of that so what you focused on has been things that are negative, things that are not in your highest good. And that's what you've, you've created this reality. And if you can 
um, you know, get to a point where you can accept that, which is not easy. It's hard to accept that you've created this reality. But once you have, it empowers you to understand if I can create this negative world, I can create the best world also. All right. That's what's coming through for you. All right. Let's get some guidance. Guidance for Pisces. We have this one here. Light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. And I do feel like you're lost in a shadow. So I definitely feel like finding the light is crucial. All right. What else do we have for Pisces? Okay. We have this one here. Surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. <clears throat> Just be with life in this present moment. So it's definitely about letting go of trying to anything. Just surrender it all like Jesus, take the wheel, leave it, leave it at the foot of God, all of it, so that you can start to resurface here. Let's get one more. Okay, we have this one here. Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. So it's talking about this radiant light and, and truly shining. So I definitely feel like there is a higher purpose to all of this and a higher purpose for your life than what you're going through right now. So that is the light at the end of the tunnel here. So um, those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.